Give me the gory details. You want the gory details? All right, just give me the gory details. And uh, she will call you later with all the gory details. You owe me nothing but the gory details. Don't leave out nothing. We love gory detail here. You know, I would love to sit and go over every gory detail with you, fat boy. And I want all the gory details. I want all the gory details. I want to hear all the gory details. I'm here the gory details, I guess. Another gory details. Gory detail with which you speak. The gory details. We count all the gory details. All the gory details. All the gory yeah. details. Yeah. Hear the gory details. Please uh. leave out the gory details. Gory details. Oh, that must have been a pretty gory spectacle. In gory detail. Which is going to have a gory feel to it. Last one's a little more gory. With all the gory details. No gory details. Tell her all the gory details, you snake. Spare me. Spare me. Spare me, self, me ship, me crew. No, spare me. Not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me. Spare me from what? Of the gory details. With gory stories. It's not really scary, but gory. Here's nature and all its gory. Back in my gory days. It's too gory. It's pretty gory. Gory. The gory? Gory. 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 And give me the details. Give me the details. Details. And spare no detail. I'll spare you the gory details. I'll spare you the gory details. You want the gory details? Yeah. Thank you.
Who's gonna be on that coffin again? Oh, hey, that's me. Let's get spooky. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and girls, ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hi, I'm your ghostess with the mostest, Sean Gory, and I'll spare you the gory details. I'm dead excited to be here with you all this evening for our Thriller Thursday broadcast. We're coming to you live again from part five of our banjo that we play through as part of our Nintendo 64 roadmap here. It's the first game of a series of 10 games I'll be playing to sort of relive the nostalgia and, and forbid, get this on, on footage. <laughs> I beat it as a kid, but I need to know I beat it as an adult. <laughs> so that's what we're doing here tonight, friends. Uh, we strolled on like a couple maps. We absolutely cleaned house on a couple other maps. We did kind of wrap up as much as we could 100% of two maps on the last broadcast. We did Clanker's Cavern and we wrapped up um, Bubblegum Swamp. Those were no easy task, but that's okay. And we'll be back and. We also did um, Freeze Easy Peak recently. That was the most recent stream, was Freeze Easy Peak. So, right now, today, we're jumping into Gobi's Desert, and we'll also be unlocking the Talon Trot Turbo Trainers, which we need to get the two missing jigsaw pieces from those last two levels that we visited. So that's what the plan is here, friends. But before I'm going further, you might notice that above my head, there's this giant blue donation bar and progress tracker, as well as this countdown timer, leaderboard, and sort of progress bar as well for this little event coming up at the end of the year called Extra Life. For those of you who don't know, Extra Life happens to be this annual 24-hour charity gaming marathon where you can play games for an entire day and help to raise funds for sick and your kids in the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. It's an absolutely free event and it goes to directly benefit kids in need those hospitals. Each year, the CMN hospitals can provide care up to 10 million kids. That's making sure they always get the care they deserve and that they never receive a bill for that care. And I used to be one of those kids, which is why this event is super close to home. Uh, and this is only made possible through gamers like you, through donors like you, through participants like you, even people who just share links and just like spread the word. It goes a long way. So that's what the plan is here, friends. Let me slap the cans on here. <laughs> Perfect timing with Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Him knocking on the, the glass. Uh, yeah, I'll get my head out of the way. We'll get rock and rolling here, right where we left off in the campaign. Go from there. Let's go, friends. Of course, we are rocking the old N64 controller. No rhymes here, friends. This is the save file we want. So far, so good. Eventually, we'll unlock those cauldrons that will let us kind of like teleport from the lower levels of Run Tilda's castle to the higher levels. We're not there yet, but we'll get there eventually. I want to say I want to go up these stairs. If I was playing this every day for like more than just like an hour or two, this, I would know this map like the back of my hand, but right now, there's still a little bit of mystery. It'll be like, we're on the second floor now, we're heading to the third floor. And I don't think we want to go up here. I think we're going to go on the other side. And that doesn't look right. We do need red feathers though, so I'm going to risk this right real quick. By the way, hold on. So in the last stream, we met Cheeto, the, the flying flapping book who tells us cheat codes. And he gave us a cheat called Blue Eggs, and it let us double our egg inventory. I was like, do I have to enter this every broadcast to like, get these effects? Nay, nay, we still have 200 eggs, so things are going well. All right, we got a couple feathers. I don't want to risk getting my butt bit. So we're gonna get out of this piranha infested water real quick. I'm pretty sure we're at full health, right? Yeah, we don't need to beat up these guys or um, break any of those honey from bees' nests. We're heading the right way. Go Bees Desert's right here. And we do need to get the boots across the sand.
Don't get sucked, please. Oh my god. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Let's not die today. <laughs> Where are the boots again? I got stuck on that stair for oh, too long for my liking. Better is safe than sorry, right? Err on the side of caution. How many lives do we have? Three? That's not a lot of lives. And Parasite! Hello there. Hello there. Welcome to stream, buddy. How are you? Happy Thursday. I am sure Grantella is saying something very important, but I'm gonna get across this saying before I stop to read it. Yeah, we wouldn't have made it getting tripped up on that last one. Ooh! Gruntilda! Grunty's best friend at Witch's School was the awful sweaty Betty. When relaxing, she usually reads Warty Girls Weekly magazine. While sipping a glass of her favorite smoothie elephant sweat. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to remember those during the quiz. But let's jump into Gobi's Valley. There's a ginger right there. You'll find one more move in here, Banjo. Looks like the only thing of value... Oh, yep, there's bees. There are bees. Looks like the only thing of value in the water are eggs, and we don't necessarily need those. What's this guy's... He wants water, right? Bunker wants rain! Yes, I'm shriveling up! How's your nuts, Bark Breath? Zooey, will eggs and feathers help? No, cough, need water. Help. If I remember correctly, we gotta get him, um... A camel. Anything in these trees? Well, just for sake of ge geographically speaking, it would make sense for me to go for this ginger right off the bat, but I'm a little afraid, because I think that's quicksand. Alright, one in the bag. Cool. So we're not dead yet. <laughs> Everything's up right with the world. Come on. So if the sand is moving, we're good, but if it looks like it's boiling, we're not good. That looks like quicksand, because it's... It's boiling. Okay. That door's got Banjo's face on it. I'm so scared to drown, because I feel like they're... You need... Whoa! Hi, guy! Alright, that wasn't so bad. We got our health back. Oh, actually, he took two. Let's see what's on top of this pyramid. There are boots right there, so if we want to collect those notes, we can. I mean, might as well kind of chuck that up. So I'm gonna grab these boots and go left. I don't even know if there's anything to the right. Don't love that I had to just like... Oh, there's a mumbo token! Cool. We got that whole little section. Harmony wants to explore that again on the, the right, but I'm also a little afraid. Like, even me just getting down to the boots was a little bit of a challenge. There's a magic carpet? What? How close does that get to, like... Oh, it literally parks and waits. Okay, so we're definitely need to ride that, and I don't think there's anything over there. What's up the stairs? There's a fly pad there. Oh, he blinks! He's alive! Hi, guy! I need to slam your nose there, buddy. My dose is all blocked. Oh, 
My nose is all blocked. That's <laughs> that's funny. Hey, dead, dead tickle. I need to do two more. Okay, let's head over here. No, 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 no. Okay, we didn't, we didn't fall into quicksand. I don't like, I kind of don't want to pick up these feathers because we're already maxed out and I don't want to go to waste. Makes sense? The fact there's a fly pad here is great. Love that for us. Line up our shot. Okay, so him sneezing didn't release a, a jiggy that was in his nose. It just opened the door for us. Ah, that cleared Jinxie's nose. Come on in. All right, Jinxie. See magic carpet. I see some shadows of probably other magic carpets. Okay, so this would be a little bit of a verticality thing. Some eggs. There. Oh, oh, okay. Hi, guy. All right. Well, we're down a little bit of health. Nothing crazy. We're already a fifth of the way across. In terms of the music notes. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Fifth time was a charm. Line up our shot. Good enough. Just one, okay. Oh, I didn't. I, I took too long getting the ginger. That's fine. We're we can always spare another egg. We got two hundred of them now. <laughs> Not to mention, there's five in this room. We're a quarter of the way done with the music notes. This is actually, we're crushing this right now. There's the jiggy right there. Let's go, first one down. It just displayed that uh, mumbo token for a second. Did I not pick it up? I was distracted by the music notes. Might as well get our eggs topped off now that we're done. We're one shy. We'll live. We'll live. Okay. Well, let's use that fly pad on the back of Jinxie's. Hey, remember that time we were one shy? We got 200 now. <laughs> okay, so, so I know we caught the fly through the honeycomb. We're gonna head to that thing next. We did Banjo's little sphinx, so let's do Zooey's. Do I do it three times or just once? Oh, thank God. <laughs> What's up, Coax? Is there a reason all the Phantom Port Redemptions are out of stock? No. There is no reason, but hi. Hello there. Happy Thursday. I mean, I can redeem them. Like, Ostrichek. That's weird. I lied. It's, it says that they're out of stock. Check back later. Weird. Yep, that has nothing to do with me. 
I blame Twitch. That's name something like, if you refresh, like, it'll fix. Oh, I can grab onto this. That's super helpful. So if I ever need to, like, target anything. Yeah, I, I, it's not you, buddy. It's not you. Can I tail and trot down this, or will I just slide to my death? Oh, that's temporary. There's a timer going. You're not crazy, buddy. Um, let me look. There's just sliding sand this way. So I should be able to walk down. Melody! Hello there. Welcome back and happy Thursday. How are you? Hope you're doing okay with everything that's been going on. Yeah, so the sliding sand is fine. It's the... How you doing, bud? I'm doing really well, man. Um, got a lot done this week, today. Um, we're kicking butt here in this game. Things are good. Oh, Melody, I can imagine. No, and like... When I lost um, one of my first puppers, um, they were an all-black little pit bull. Adorable little baby doll. Love them. Um, my parents put them to sleep while I was still at school, which I can understand them not wanting me to like have to worry about like that trauma and whatever. When I came home, I got a whole bunch of black clothes just sitting in my bed. And so I thought, like, that was them. Like, they were still waiting for me, and that was hard. Um, another little blonde pity recently, and she was also a baby doll, and, you know, having her put down was hard. And I was, I was grateful I was able to be there for her, but being there was, was just as hard as not being there. So it's, it's a lose-lose no matter how you slice it. So my heart goes out to you, Melody. They're, pets are family, and one, the universe's cruelest tricks is they made man's best friend and they gave them a lifespan like a quarter of ours and that's not fair. I'm here with you. Excuse me while I poop in a bowl. <laughs> Let me do it from this angle. There's a forced camera. Can I talk to this guy? Oh yeah. Hello my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes? Okay, well, since we got a force camera, we'll do this way. Would you hear that right? You thought your dog was turning to clothes? <laughs> no, it's not that I thought my dog was turning to clothes. It's I thought they were still there. Because, like, a, a pile of, like, a black hoodie and, like, some black t-shirts, like, black jeans, whatever it was. Um, it looked like there. It looked... It looked like them. I need to get closer. Let's try here. So I think this bowl speeds up. Three? Do you need more? You need more? Okay, we'll, we'll do more. You want five? Ah, a thousand thank yous, my friend. It's up well now. Help with your... Well, now help with your quest. Ah, uh, come on. Got it. So what's funny is like, he's only up here for a little bit and then he drops back down. So if I would have choked on Tom, I'd have been in trouble. Okay, um, do 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 do. So I gotta ride, I gotta do a pyramid puzzle. Pyramid's located right inside the desert. Enter the pyramid. By beat busting the switch on top and then entering the door within 10 seconds. Okay, so we gotta go to the pyramid now. Good news is I. Oh, he's actually playing the flute in here. Do you guys hear him? Mataroa, welcome to the stream, buddy. Long time to see. The maze of the pyramid made me anxious when I was younger. What's funny is, Mataroa, is there's stuff in there that you can only get if you go the wrong way. Like, there's a witch switch, which does something inside of Grantilda's lair that you have to intentionally go through. Okay, so well, that guy just came out of the ground. Oh gosh, this isn't going to make me anxious or anything. And of course, at the bottom is uh, quicksand that will kill you. If I go too far left, it's going to push me right. I'm taking this gingerly. <laughs> as long as there's not something like 
like a bee that's gonna buzz at me, or like a beetle, or someone that's gonna make me fall. I'll be fine. We're almost halfway there in terms of our music notes. Games of this made me feel a uh, quicksand was more <laughs> common occurrence. I feel cheated, uh, coax. Walking down the street, surprise, mother truck of quicksand. <laughs> Okay, so that door is closed. I think the switch... Oh, God. The switch for it is at the top of the pyramid. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. No, the, the grace period here for what is safe and what is not safe is quite thin. I keep doing that. I keep wasting... I keep wasting stuff. So there's a magic carpet guy there. The door there. I hear a Jinjo. He's whistling at me. He's not up here, is he? Are you playing the real N64 system emulator? This is the legit N64, buddy. No emulators here. All right, well, I know I have to ground pound this and then I think I have to go inside. Yep. Good thing part of that um, cutscene was eating through my... Oh, oh. Can I kill this guy? Oh, so I can't kill him. He just temporarily crowds inside of himself. So this isn't a huge in inconvenience, but it's not great. Is this a memory matching game? Oh, good, it is. N64 is so good. So we had a mumbo, we had an egg. We had a Jinjo. Two Jinjos, got it. Honeycomb. Kazooie. Mumbo's up top left. Kazooie. Oh, he got me, he got me. Kazooie's up this way ish. Nope, that was Banjo, I lied. This Kazooie? Nope, that's a music note. Is this a music note too? That's an egg. Music note. Ah, oh my gosh. I got him with like the three of the third hits. Angel's right here. Honeycomb, honeycomb? Kazooie, Kazooie? There's Feather, I lied. Blue Egg. Blue Egg? Red Feather. Blue Egg. Blue Egg. I have nine seconds, I might have to do this a second time. So we didn't get it. Are we? Is that game over? Okay, so we're still alive. We just got kicked back to the beginning. The bear attacked me. I crept into the ball too. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bit of a risk here, friends. Um, we need these honeycombs, but these bees are gonna be pissed off at us. Get in the water! Get in the water! They can't get in the water. <laughs> I know, Coax, I know. Like, I'm not trying to let this dude beat me up. Okay. We're just above half health now, which is good. I haven't seen a lot of other sources of health just floating around here. Wait a second, why are these back? Did I not collect these? Oh no, I came from the other direction. I walked all the way around that really... Here's a source of health. <laughs> no, I walked all the way up around that really perilous walk. I did not come this way. This looks like an arena if I've ever seen one. 
Not sure this is the move here. To enter an arena with a... Probably one of those hands that comes on the ground. Oh no, it's fine. Okay, everything's fine. I don't want to do that whole, um... Chabs, welcome back, buddy. How are you? I don't want to do that whole move where I go along that really perilous walk. There's a ginger there. Can I just jump to him or will I die? Okay. Let's go back and give this puzzle a second try. I wonder if the pattern will stay the same or if it changes our time. Okay, I'm at halfway down. I'd love if I could take that little zombie guy out. Jinjo? Jinjo. Egg? Egg. Okay, so the pattern's the same. Honeycomb, honeycomb? Mumbo. Oh, come on. He hurts me when he's he's in defense mode. Red feather. Red feather. Banjo. Banjo. Music note. Music note. Kazooie. Kazooie. Kazooie? Lucky they don't do a different pattern every time. I'm like, please tell me the mummy doesn't chase me while I'm doing my celebratory animation, because that would be poor form. Okay, so that's one. So, hidden rings of the ancients. So we have to find the flight pad and fly through the hoops. So we just keeps moving. Okay, this one might eat up a lot of um. This one might eat a lot of feathers. We're going to kind of go from there. How many feathers do we have right now? 44. We can, we'll restock a little bit. Look at this. We're at 50 now. Just for safety, I'm going to try just exclusively walking around in the Talon Trot because... Okay, so there's more health over there. Note to self. That right there, that guy that just rose up on the ground. We're looking for him. What's up, Gory? <laughs> How's that going? That's going well, man, actually. I got a lot done at work. So that's a way to fly through. Um, been keeping busy, staying out of trouble. Things are good. Things are good. How about you, chaps? How did your shirt turn out, turn out after the wash? Okay, so he's between the two cactuses, so we should be on my right. There he is. He's gonna be a little bit of a narrow pass. He's on the side of some... Yes. Okay, wow, found him already. Um, yeah, I, I, me drowning death four times in the same area was less than stellar chaps. <laughs> so I can see myself in this cutscene. This is perfect. It's almost like a, a circuit. Come on. All right, we'll loop around. We'll loop around. All right, we took too big of a loop apparently. Still counts, still counts. <laughs> so I didn't see exactly where he popped up. He should be hard to miss. That looks like an arena too. Oh, there he is. He just like popped into view. You can book him, you can book him. You can book him. 
I mean, I would not be upset if we had the double feather mount. So like, the the 50 feathers is, is not much, but I would be, we're, we're doing okay. When we were doing the freeze easy peak, I definitely felt like we were running low. Um, I, I think we finished killing all the snowmen and we had nine, nine feathers left, which is not much. Okay, so we need the speedy shoes for this. Where do we, for the next one, where do we get... Yes, it's where they, the giant snow met. So there is one giant snow man in the center and like you can climb all the way up and like even on top of his hat. But there's also like the, like the like the 12 foot snowmen. They're wearing top hats with giant X's on their forehead. And they'll roll up snowballs and they throw them at you. And they got deadly accuracy. Like those things are crazy. Nine is still 18%. True. True. Okay, so speedy shoes. Go in the, the corner of the temple behind the maze pyramid. I don't know which one the maze pyramid is. I'm reading the guide here. We're looking for a molehill. So one of these is a maze pyramid. All right, well, we're gonna just walk around until we can find these shoes. The sled race, we did that last night, Manro, not sorry, not last night, Wednesday, and it was, it was rough, buddy. It was rough, cause like, it's not like the, the bad guy doesn't make mistakes. Ooh, I'm low in health again, I need to fix that. Um, but like, it's rough. What's funny is one of the, the missions we have, or like one of the reasons we have to go back to Freeze Easy Peak is because you can challenge that guy to a, a rematch and, um, what do you call it? You need the speedy shoes to beat him. And because you can't do it as a whale, you have to be Kazooie or Banjo. So which one's the maze pyramid? This one dead center? If I'm all held, don't make a mountain out of it. That's solid advice. That's solid advice, buddy. That's not it right there, is it? Oh, that's Gobi, the the camel. We'll worry about him in a second. Oh, that's a, a source of health. Thank you for the health, buddy. We're at half health, that's good. Better than where we were. What are you? So that's in the middle. I'm not going for that right yet. I'm going for this guy. He come woke him. I'm gonna just stand on this, so that way whenever the timer runs out, we're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. We're already in um the talent trot form. The timer is going and we can't move yet. That's so dumb. See, now I'm like being too um, cautious about picking up these music notes. Of course, I don't want to miss those. And I feel like I could have gotten up here a lot faster if I wasn't doing that. Or if Gruntilda wasn't showboating. Let me get these music notes and we'll go from there. Got an extra life, though. Me butt slamming hurt me. Okay, well. So the timer's going and I can't move. That This is so dumb. Maybe this is what I need the speedy shoes for. Because this, this seems impractical. Yep, okay, I definitely need the speedy shoes for that. Alright, well. Let's see what's up here. The speedy shoes, what do you know? Alright, well. So it doesn't wait for me here, does it wait for me in the middle? Okay, 
Okay, so it's not an instant kill, but it will kill you. I'm at one health. I need... I need to find a honeycomb patch, like yesterday. Or honeycomb tower, or... Beehive, what do you want to call it? Anything back here? No, I mean, there is a honeycomb. Okay, this is what I need. If the bees aren't pissed off yet, they don't know it was me. They know it's me. They know it's me. Fail, fail, fail. <laughs> this is worse than the ones in Lethal Company. There's a base on the side of that wall? So we already got the one that looks like Banjo. We already got this one that looks like Kazooie by hitting the target at the top. Let's check out what's back here. This looks important. Oh, he's got a, a Jinjo on him. Do we need to be faster? Do we need the, the, the shoes? We definitely need the boots to get these. Yep, okay, so we gotta be faster. All right, well, we'll be back with shoes. More health, please and thank you. I get those music notes. We're already at 75, let's go. Use the uh, the golden feathers for honeycombs in the future. That's a good idea. It's so, like if I'm worried about the bees hurting me. I'm, I mean, so far, knock on wood, I've been able to take them out without being destroyed by bees. What's our health at? We could use two, so I'm gonna leave one of them. Look at us, full health. Let's go. Nothing wasted. So there's a. M Let me try getting over there by Gobi. Actually, what's up here? The shoes that we don't have. Alright, let's try getting over to Gobi with these boots. Hopefully they don't run out before we get to Gobi, and hopefully there's boots there for us? Okay, we made it. I don't see boots. Oh, there's a there's a magic carpet here. Derp. Pant, it's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Bye, buddy. Good luck finding your dad. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. What number is that for us? Number five, so we're half done. Kinda should collect those feathers. We we need six more. What does this do? Oh! Okay, is it on a timer? No. Well then let's go get that for free. Bumblebee tuna! <laughs> Wrong buttons. What's up, Lono? From the stream, buddy. <laughs> Saw the most recent picture of the house. Looks real nice. it has got carpet now. It's exciting. Might as well pick this one up. We've walked past it like six times. There is a magic carpet down here. We should check out and see where that goes. 
because I'm sure it can't hurt. Also, I got boots. Let's get that honeycomb first. No, I saw it not long ago. Down low? Where is the honeycomb? There it is, found it. Yeah, this LOD level of detail loading thing does not help when you're searching for a needle in a haystack. We need one more and we'll have extended health. I'm very okay with that. Let's go find our friend Gobi, who was chilling at the, uh... Wait a second, can I ground pound those pillars? No, just kidding. Don't forget the cliffs, caves that you're flying. Yes, no, you're right there. Ooh, there was at least one door I saw over there. Coax, that we couldn't really get anywhere else besides there. We need to check out that magic carpet that's floating around. We need to check out our, our friend who we sent back to the Oasis. Render distance, you're right, the render distance, because he just simply stops rendering it. LOD would be if there's like a high poly, a low poly, you're right. you right, you're right. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Trucker wants rain, gasp, I'm shriveling up. Pretty sure we do have to butt slam this guy. A lovely water. Trunker feels great. Good. We're making progress. Do I really have to fly to get to him? Let's try one of these nearby trees. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Alright, well, let me take a look here. So, we need those shoes. Next to Grabba and Kazooie's temple in the top left corner of the world. Give Kazooie turbo trainers. Run faster. Okay. So, we're going to kind of just head over by that one pyramid that we were chilling at. And that looks like Banjo. There's nothing there. How about this magic carpet we've been seeing floating around? I mean to do that. So it comes by. Parks here. There's no way it just takes us to those two spots. Okay, so we can't take us over there. There's something up there. Is that the camel? Is he hiding from us a third time? I feel bad. <laughs> Bully this man! Bully him! <laughs> I mean, for real. in the shade at least oh the honeycomb wow that's it i'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet <laughs> well that's the last one we need to give ourselves extended health i wonder if they'll give us full health too nice all right that's gonna help tremendously is this the maze
There's no way it's that easy. Just jump in the sarcophagus. Nothing else is in here? Do I have to drop eggs in here? Hold on. We did the puzzle, we did the fly through the hoops. We haven't found the speedy shoes yet. We did the free goby, we did the thirsty tree. We haven't found the Jinjos. We haven't found the maze one. I'm lost, you guys. Okay, go around the corner of the temple behind the maze pyramid. I still know where the maze pyramid is. Where, where's, where's Goggles? Where's Goggles at? Next to Grabba and Kazooie's temple in the top left corner of the world. I think we came here too soon. Hopefully that, that magic carpet can take us out. Hoping that ride shows. Hopefully it doesn't do anything stupid like disappear into the sand. Dad did not love that for me. This way. This seems like a, a, an appropriate way to go. Like, we're just gonna come glowing clockwise. We already opened up Kazooie's. Oh, I found the molehill! I found the molehill! Let's get some red feathers while we're here. Oh my gosh. Life changer. Game changer. This would have been nice when we were low in health because he gives you low health when he knows you're low. These are the running shoes. Speaker wears them on their scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Well, play Banjo. You've now learned all moves in this game. Okay, not just this level, but the game. Let's get those shoes. Are they up? No. No, they're not far. I think they're just right here. Yep. All right, friends, let's go. No, I just canceled it. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Ah, I deserve that. I deserve that. Don't actually said it. My first time getting tricked by one of those things. Got it. No, I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. Oh. Seven down. We're cruising, friends. We're with our music notes. 83. I'm sure the other's like inside that pyramid, which again, we have no idea where it is. Is that we're actually what we're, we're surrounding? That one we couldn't get access to because we don't have the, the speedy shoes yet? I mean, we're already a foot up, which helps. Gosh, it really is their theme song on crack. I love it. Four seconds, three seconds. 
zero seconds to go. Wow. Eka bokum. All right. Well, how do I drain this pool? Go in the corner of the temple. Grab the turbo trainers. Two, 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 two. Run over the switch. Yep, yep, yep. Um. Oh, just obtaining the jiggy drains it. There must be a jiggy just chilling down here. Oh, there it is. Hopefully we're safe up here because I don't want these guys to beat us up. And now that surrounding area is covered with water, okay. That might be a bit of a game changer for us. Music notes, yes please. I need eggs and red feathers, all of this. Get wrecked. He's squatting on an, a note. Now we're at 50. Are there three of them? Okay, well now that this area is filled with water, let's kind of explore that a bit. Five, yep, there's music notes down there. Oh, there's a flight pad down here too? What good does a flight pad do me underwater? We need one more Jinjo game. I wonder if he's gonna be in the maze. Oh, so if you fell in the quicksand, that's your only way out. Okay, so it was an emergency exit. I assumed it was like instant death, honestly, if you fell down here. Okay, let's get some air. We're doing good on music notes. I feel like I've been pretty thorough about Exploring to make sure they're not wrecked. We still haven't found the maze area that we've been talking about. Now that this has water on it. We've been to that one. That one's the one we had to butt slam and do the puzzle in. I'm gonna take a quick look at the guide here. Sandy butts, I understand. We gotta we gotta use those pillars. Yep, this guy. Oh, he, he, he's making a game for us. Got him. Two for one. Is the whole pyramid going to come out or have to do this on... Yep, on the other sides. Okay. I understand. Now, we did see him, like, stick out of the wall when this was still quicksand, but... We saw these little pillars, too. I'm like, do I have to butt slam these? All those N64 graphics just phase through with the solid wall, yep. Probably one more, right? Yeah, I could just rapid fire. I mean, I was every time I've gotten at least one, I've gotten two. I could do bop, bop, bop. We'll try shot. That's gotta be it, right? That's it. Okay. That wasn't so bad. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. Gotta replenish our eggs. Can't have less than 200, that's illegal. Straight to jail. Oh, there's a back door with Kazooie's face on it. What does that do? If we, hmm, I'm sure we'll find out. Maybe we exit through that door. 
This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Ah, uh, Cox, it makes you think about Fallout, like, hey, this guy's been in the chickens. That's a gold feather, which I don't need. Wait, what's this? I'll take it in case we die in here. Oh, first try. That was not what I was going for. One more, one more, guys, one more. Let's go. Oh my god! Ikka <laughs> Pokem. Now we're at full of those. You should be able to uh, get back from the maze zone, collect other stuff. I did see the witches switch, so we do need to go back. I at least know the direction it's in now, so I can kind of push myself that way. So now we got a, a jigsaw piece waiting for us when we leave. I don't imagine there's other exits. Eggs could care less. Oh, that's the way we came. It's not gonna kill us if we if we get this wrong, right? As long as we don't exit the world. If it just kicks us back to the spawn, that's cool. Wrong way. Okay, we're just back at spawn. Oh no, it, it actually did kill us. Well, we got a hundred of the, the notes, so I don't care about those. We got the Jinjos. Um, so we're missing one. We free Gobi, we got the Thirsty Tree, we, we got the one from the hand, we got the Jinjos. We got the Witch Switch, we got the notes. Which one are we missing? Sphinx's nose, the carpet. And yeah, we need one more. So first one is rubies, which you're climbing the snake for. And then it's the Sphinx nose, the carpets. We got that. Puzzle pyramid, we got that. The hidden rings, the ancients got that. Speedy shoes. Got that. Sandy butts, we got. Free goby, we got. Thirsty tree, we got. Got grabbas, got the jinjos. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. There are running shoes at spawn. The Rubies is the, the guy who plays the flute and we climb his snake. Sphinx's nose, that was the banjo. We shut Exiba's nose, we wrote some pyramids. Puzzle pyramid, we, we got. Hidden rings of the ancient. Pretty sure we got. Yeah, because yeah, that spawns in the back. Speedy shoes. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Yep, yep, we got that one. Sandy Butts Maze. Free Gobi, Thirsty Tree. Jinjos. We we got all I'm confused here. Hold on. I'll show I'll show this to you guys too here. Okay, number one. Rubies. Ruby's the guy that plays the flute, and we climbed his snake. Got that one. Two, Sphinx's carpets. We shot eggs in his nose. We rode the carpets up, fed these guys eggs. Got it. Three, the puzzle. 
We solved the puzzle, got the Jinjo, or the Jiggy Great. Hidden Rings of the Ancients, we got those. We flew through and it spawned on his back. N nailed it. Five, speedy shoes. We grabbed the shoes, went to the pyramid and grabbed the, the thing in the, no the nose and f the water fled out. Perfect. Six, that's a maze we just did and we got it from inside the sarcophagus. Seven, free Gobi. We did that. He's He said he's getting out of this world once and for all. We got two from him. We, we freed him. The thirsty tree. That's the second one. Grab the one from the hand. We already get, did that for being fast. And then last was the Jinjos. Unless it's still sitting in there. We got the witch switch too. Got all the notes. I wonder... There was one that we went to... We went to like that one cave that we wrote a pyramid for, and we hit the button, but like there was nothing inside the sarcophagus. If that makes any sense. It was the one we had to ride this magic carpet for. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Nope, oh, that was a bold move, Cotton. Maybe when I got the last Jinjo, it didn't, like, save? You would. You would. So I, I got the last Jinjo in that barrel in the maze. And I thought we got the... I thought we got the... the puzzle piece for it. That's so obnoxious. I gotta wonder what's in this room. That's the thing, like, I got the one from the sarcophagus, and then I got the one for collecting the ginger by accident, because I didn't know that's where the last one was. That should have been number 10. And then this whole room has no purpose. Because, like, we went up here and there was, there was nothing. We press the button and it opens and there's nothing there. There's an empty sarcophagus. And it's still empty. It's tied to the Easter egg post game. Okay, I think you're right because that has nothing related to the the. It's got nothing related to the the other missions in the guide. I could try collecting the Jinjos again. That's annoying. Maybe I had to collect that maze one and then leave? Maybe it's because I died in the maze and I never actually left? Let's try doing the maze again, but to get in the maze, we have to do that thing with the water and the shooting the eggs. Yeah, that's really annoying. Let me get those turbo trainers, yo. Would the water even be able to lower if there's no Jiggy for me to collect? There's no timer. Oh, the timer's when I hit the switch. Derp. I hesitated for a split second, so I'm not sure if I'll actually make this. So there's no water, so 
that mean the water already drained and I can redo that thing here? Yes, so, okay. Do I even have to re-shoot my eggs into those things, or do they just remember that I did that and like, can I go into the maze again? I can go into the maze again, okay. Is there a back door here I'm supposed to exit? Maybe that wasn't the last ginger? Maybe I was, I was mistaken? Sorry I'm caught today. Melody, first off, never apologize for for not vibing. Uh, you're going... There, there's a lot in your plate right now. You don't... You do not have to say anything. Um... There's one in the pyramid. There's one in the water outside the pyramid. There's only one exit and one entrance. So yeah, I wonder what that back door is for. Let me, hold on, I had another guide here. It was a, a one I wasn't super happy with. So, Kobe's Valley. Let's check this out together, friends. I know. No, it's good. It's been 97 years since I've been on here, so I, I feel ya. Jig number one, shoot, eggs up his nose, get the thing, got it. Jig number two, use the shoes, got it. Puzzle, got it. Break the thing, got it. Collect it and fill the water, got it. Go into the maze, do the maze, got it. Fill the water, got it. Clutch, yep, the pipe shooting, pooping eggs out, got it. Flying through, got it. So number 10 must be the Jiggies. Okay, weird. We got that handcuff piece, and we got that one. And then we got the witch switch too. Okay. Weird. So maybe it was just the Jiggies that we're missing. Okay, well there's one at spawn. There's one to the left of, um... Oh, that door just straight closes. How do we get out of here? Hold on, pump the freaking brakes. So the, the, the door, that's where we died last time, the spikes came through and we died. There's gotta be an exit in there that we didn't see. Shoot, 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 pardon me buddy. There's gotta be an exit in there that we missed, because this is the only way in, there's gotta be another way out. Is it? Oh, I thought there was a texture. I thought it was a texture, because, like, a lot of the textures look like holes. Dark Man is awesome. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Shouldn't have. There is a back door. Okay, well. Break a leg, Master Chief. I appreciate that, Dark Man. Okay. So we need orange... Which is at spawn, and actually, I don't know which color green is. Or where green is. Blue is under the bridge in the center of the world. We got him. Green is on the backs of the pyramid with a switch on top. Alright, let's go for green.
Yeah, Coax, I realized that the exit at the back would not, you know, me trying to go anywhere else failed. He was listening to Twitch this entire time. I was the one who said it's been nice some years. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I misread that because your color was the same as Coax. And they looked almost identical. So, yellow's at spawn. Orange is... Is orange inside? On the magic carpet inside the Sphinx. Alright, well, I gotta go inside the Sphinx now. I appreciate that, Coax. No, if I'd have read that in time, would have helped, but... It's all good. It's all good. This will just cost me some eggs. Okay. Black <laughs> him. Oh good, Master Chief, you play on Twitch doing some games with objectives. That's the plan, man. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that looks like an exit, but it's actually just a texture. So, like, it's easy to miss. Ow. Oh, we're, we're low health. So we had yellow and green. Um, yellow is at spawn, so we'll go check that out soon. Let me kill this little hand and get some free, free health. Sweet. Green is to the right behind the one pyramid. Well, that was hashtag not worth it. Let me juke him out. Let me juke him out. Got it. Got it. Got it. The flying carpet is from Aladdin. <laughs> so we need yellow and yellow is a spawn. I could have sworn we got all these guys before. So this isn't it. I don't. I don't know what it is. I'm, try I'm trying to get chased by bees. <laughs> I've learned my lesson from Lethal Company. We did it, friends. I don't know why it's been so difficult the first time, but we did it. Not like they're going to put out an update to uh, patch that glitch or whatever, but it's all good. All right, gang. Well, if we can get back to land, we got a gingy, uh, jigsaw piece wing for us, a jiggy, waiting for us in the sarcophagus right outside this room. Ha <laughs> coax. The sarcophagus is to the left, to the right. It is right here, so we're gonna do one of these, ready? Too soon, too soon. Let it ride, Gory, let it ride. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. All right, friends, I'll tell you what. We've been streaming for a full hour here, so real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a miracle story, and then we've got some, we've got two pieces of unfinished business we need to take care of here real quick. So don't go anywhere. I got a great Ursa stream for you. Stick around. We'll be right back. When we all come together and just bring in the charity love. There's no going back. It's the best thing in the world.
My passion for this stems from the when two of my kids were born, they had to spend a lot of time in the hospital. Many of you know, Extra Life began in 2008 in memory of Victoria Edmond. At that time, it was a local fundraiser for Texas Children's Hospital where Tori fought her cancer. At Victoria's house. Hi. My name is Joellen Inman, and I'm Tori's mom. And this game is not over. Some families, the game is just beginning. We've got a long ways to go. That road is a long road. Your Extra Life Money in Action. CHOC is actually building an entire wing dedicated to children's mental health. I play video games. I raise money for Extra Life. I am streaming for... Amy. El 100% de ese dinero se queda local en tu, en tu hospital o fundación a la que tú representes. Extra Life, super mega ultra charity live stream extravaganza of awesomeness. Hey gang, we're back. What we just saw was uh, sort of like, I don't want to say a miracle story because it didn't involve any like direct stories from the kids, but it was just a really good explanation of what we do here with Extra Life and how we play games and how we heal kids and how it makes a world of difference for those kids. That's what we're doing here, friends, with Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Melody, you apologize too much. <laughs> oh lord. Thank you so much. So that's what we're doing here, friends. Um, we just unlocked the turbo trainers here. So we're gonna go back to Bubblegum Swamp and beat that one crocodile at the worm and apple eating game. That's weird. Fainter points are working again. Great, great. Um, I got a friend that's just like that. I got a friend that's just like that, Melody. And I, I'm always sending her memes when I see like, someone's being a people pleaser, I'm like, this is you. She's like, I know. <laughs> We're going to go Bubba Goose Swamp and beat the alligator at the crab apple eating game. And then we have to go back to Freeze Easy Peak to um, challenge the walrus to a foot race. He'll be on the sled, but we'll be taking the Shoelace Express. So that's what the plan is here, friends. Let me get my head out of the way and we'll get... Uh, actually, hold on. We just saw an extra life story. And you might also notice that over my shoulder here... Our buddy Coax117 just used their Fanta points to make me donate a dollar to Extra Life. So tell you what, I'll get my head of the way, we'll dent Extra Life, and then we'll take care of this unfinished business. Let's go, friends. Okay, so first things first. Let me pull over a donation tab here.
This is a faint important redemption. Right there. And this is via Coax117. Coax, let me give you a drum roll here. There it goes. That's gonna put us exactly $2,956 raised this year so far at Extra Life, and not much closer to our fundraising goal and milestone of raising over $38,000, which is insane. So I'm gonna mark those fancy points as complete. Thank you so much for those. I know we're closer to Freeze Easy Peak. Um, we might just shoot for that since we're right here. For real, for real. <laughs> hey. So, also, since we've unlocked the turbo trainers, we can try getting this, um... There's an advent calendar thing up here that we could only get if we... If we can get there. Do we have the butt slam on that though first? There's that notification from Coax. Do I have the butt slam on this? Okay, so we haven't unlocked that yet. Maybe after we do the the haunted level, we can break that or we can get fire. There's a, the cauldron right there. Yeah, we'll, Okay, so we, we can't do that yet. We'll just do the, the foot race first. But there is a... There is a... Jiggy out here that we can reach using the... Trainers, the fly pad, and this whole advent calendar thing, all that jazz. It did feel appropriate. I... I might be able to dive on from higher, but... I don't think I have... I've unlocked that ability, or that area yet, Coax. So we need to find our our walrus friend and knock out this race. I don't think it's this way. This looks right. Yeah, the million dollar question is where are the turbo trainers though? Yeah, it, it, it is unlockable. Um it's, un it's unlockable, Coax. I just... I don't think we've got the elevation to, like, fall and dive bomb that. Or maybe, like, it's a witch switch. I don't know. Are those turbo trainers? Negative. I would think they'd be, like, right behind him. Alright, let me read real quick. Go back to Boggy, and this time is Banjo, a greeter of the race without a sled. Instead, use a turbo trainers to race throughout. If you manage to beat Boggy, well, I don't know where the turbo trainers are, buddy. It doesn't help anybody. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Breeze easy peak. Points of interest. Racing Boggy 2. Find the race. Find Boggy and start the race again. Only this time comes Banjo when challenging to the race, except quickly grab the running shoes in front of you. Oh, the running shoes just spawn. Okay. Good job, those who are doing the best charity on this planet, which is Extra Life for Kids. You might not donate, but the kindness of speech is to all the sick kids out there knowing they're awesome and they're smart and brilliant and they can push through anything. Power with them. Absolutely dark, man. No, he, even just... Oh, there's the shoes, so they don't spawn until you accept. No, you're right, dark, man. Even, like, if you're not going to donate, just showing some support or just spreading the word, that makes a world of difference. If I can get in front of him. Okay. 
If I can stay in front of him, shoot, 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 my... My finger slipped in the joystick, because, like, it's so slippery. I must need, like, a rubber pad or something in my thumb. I got... Okay, I can still win this. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There's, like, one, one flag left. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! First try. And I messed up twice. Dear Lord. Exactly. Now, any, any way you can be here, Dark Man, it makes a world of difference. I thought we botched that twice. I thought that was game over and we're to just do this a second time. I can't believe we got that with two mistakes. And I'm going to take this extra life while we're here. Like, might as well. 10 out of 10. Bubble Goop Swamp. We're coming for you next. We're full of on feathers. Don't need music notes. Pull up on these guys. I think the exit's right here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Bubble Goop Swamp, here we come. Actually, hold on a second, Coax. You might have been on in something. I didn't see this ramp before. It's pretty high up there. I feel like this could hurt us if we jump from this height. Let me keep going and see what else is up here. There's a music door we haven't opened up. There's a cauldron here we haven't opened up. We just bounce right off. And we've not been up here on this playthrough. This disgusting Gruntilda has tadpoles on toast for breakfast. Oh, I could try egg in, egg in the webs. I didn't thought, think about that. And she usually has her dog dung burgers. Ugh. Yuck. Ward bags then finishes with eyeball ice cream. Or dessert. How horrid. Oh, you poor dears. Your energy's low. Let me fill it up for you. She's so nice. It was egg-based. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Okay, Coax. You might have been onto something, buddy. My mind instantly went to um, Ocarina of Time, where you have to jump up with a flaming stick to break the web. I would not have think, I would not have thought. Oh yeah, just poop eggs on it. Okay. And while we're here, let's unlock that cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the the same color. I think this one might take us down towards. Nope. Okay, I've no idea. I thought we've activated three, but apparently they're all three solos. Let's try giving this thing another attempt here. What can I say except you're welcome? Darkman says, "To be honest, to be honest, I got a hunch there are a lot of kids on this planet Earth who may be sick." knowing they are beyond that what i'm meaning is they are strong and they are superheroes and they can get through anything and knowing they are legend and my hunch is always right no joke because i know my hunch is always right even god agree with me that's high praise that is high praise
Oh shoot, I'm gonna get hit by a Okay. I'm waiting for it to get beamed by a snowball there. Okay, there's the thing. We've already unlocked it, so let's go. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> Alright. No harm, no foul. We took no damage. First try, right? First try, first try, first try. Oh, I slid right past it. This ice didn't do me any favors. Oh, come on. I was right there. Well, Pumpkin Jack wants us to exercise our wrists. Fist, open palm, open, tip of claw, half his fist. Fist, open palm, open, tip of claw, half his fist. Here we go. I didn't feel like I was, like, wasting time there. I don't... Not really sure what I could do differently, but... Whatever. Yes. Yes, it, it really is. That was a waste, because I the camera's like, what door? Yeah, that was an absolute waste. Take two, friends, take two. Take one, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm hugging the inside wall. And like, you can't use that pad when you're Kazooie, you have to be Banjo. Fine, it's fine. Oh, you jerk! Get out of here! Harden wants to use this flight pad to take this jerk out. Let me try not turning into, like, going to the Foxtrot first. Or the Kazooie Trot. I'm so floaty, I hate it! <laughs> Try to wipe the grease off my hands here. Nailed it. What am I looking for, though? Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole. And this is just to get a jiggy in the advent calendar. First try, friends. First try. <laughs> of course, of course, Darkman. So, yes. Oh, oh yeah, no, the, the hole is here. Can I take out that guy that's been bullying us? No, the, the hole, I feel like I only knew about from being as a, a kid. The only thing they show you when you unlock this witch switch is the...
The only thing they show you um, when you unlock that witch switch is the advent calendar opening up. They don't show you, like, a swooping animatic of the of the tunnel leading to it. Once we got the pad, it was easy. It was easy. All right, let's go down to Bubble Goop Swamp and eat some crab apples. And we're going to take a shortcut. Ready, friends? <laughs> if I remember correctly, Bubble Goop Swamp is this way. Oh, hi, 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 hi. That's a great spot to put an enemy at spawn. Is a spot I can't see him. Love that for me. Gosh, it. Oh, I always do that. Like, I press the button to turn into um, the, the talent trot, but I'm also trying to adjust the camera. And it's like, oh, did you want to use a gold. Gold feather right now? Like, no. No, I did not. Darkman, have yourself a good night, buddy. Stay out of trouble. Thank you for tuning in. We'll have to catch you next time, friend. Well, we gotta turn into Mumbo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta turn into Mumbo. Okay, so we just have to go through this maze real quick. Easy. <laughs> Same to you, said Trouble. I do my best. Dark man, I do my best. Yeah, night dark man. <laughs> Nailed that jump right there. Okay. We got this, friends. Because not only will we be wicked fast, but... Um, we're gonna cut this alligator off, and we're gonna eat as close to twice as much of him as him as possible. So we're going in with full health, and we're going with more health than we were when we first encountered him. All right, I do need a little health. All right, now we're at full health. <laughs> and I got my feather back that we accidentally wasted. So if he, heaven forbid, he bites us, we'd always leave and come back. We'll be okay, we'll be okay, friends. Oh, Sean, I'm showing your Twitch profile to my partner last night. Your looks are even your art. That's high praise, thank you. I really appreciate that. I work really, I mean, I didn't choose my name. That's just my God-given name. <laughs> I wonder if these will wear out when I'm talking to this guy. I guess we'll find out. No, I didn't choose my name, but I worked really hard in my art, so I, that's high praise, Melody. I appreciate that. Eat more of the red ones than him. Got it. I'm sorry, I have to hit B. Oops. These shoes make it night and day different. Oh my god. 
Can I can just get him again? Let's go. So do you see like me pulling, pulling him out of these a little bit? I didn't get quite double his score. Plus Sean's Coleman, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so don't, don't eat the yellows. Oh, missed that one. My shoes run out. I'm only hit by one. Ten seconds. Ooh, I've been hit by one. Okay. Wow, lucky green wins. Must play last game. Only eats what is shown at top of the screen. Here we go. I imagine it starts with red. Yep. I'm ahead by quite a few, and I'm alright with this. So this is gonna be the yellows for the rest of this match, I'm pretty sure. Let's go! <laughs> Should I do commissions by any chance? Um, I do, actually. So I've, I've done a lot of freelance. I'm up to my eyeballs in projects I haven't even gotten a chance to start yet. So at the moment, I don't have, like, any availability. But I actually have done a lot of freelance, whether it's... Logo design, um, animations, illustrations, um, video editing, you name it, I've done it all. We got it here though, friends. That's 10 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you, Coax. I can't dance with the gator, so I'll just do a little 360. <laughs> No, actually, what's funny, um, Melody's, around the last Halloween, I did a, um, a commission for a friend who makes soaps. Um, they need a new logo, and, like, they made me, like, a special line of spooky soaps, so we had, like, a whole giveaway about it. Um, I'd have to, like, really dig through my social media to find the post, but it was around, it was just, just shy of Halloween last year. But, like, we made five or six different bars of soaps, and, like, it was... We gave them away, and like it was all part of Extra Life, so like it, the proceeds went to the charity. Like it was awesome, but it started with them needing a logo, so I made them a logo, and we made stuff together, and then it helped Extra Life. So it was just a win-win-win. All right, gang. Tell you what, we're not about to start a new level, because that would be silly. But I can at least unlock it for us. I'm really happy that we were able to like check those boxes that we left open because like that was that would have bothered me a lot where uh if I would have forgotten about them like where, what am I missing the fact that we remember the don't you dare cause damage to me you s son of a bulldog <laughs> like the fact we were able to like check those boxes I knew we, we were gonna need to take them out but that's good I know we gotta go up so let's go up
You like my art style? Thank you so much, Melody. That's high praise. What's funny is, um... I like so many other artists' work. Like... I threw out references. Like, I, I don't know, like, I just... When someone's good at what they do, like, I let them do that. So, like, for example, like, if a tattoo artist specializes in portraits, I wouldn't submit one of my own portraits. I'd be like, yo, I love your portraits. Like, if someone does, like, spray paint or graffiti style, I'm like, I've never done a comic. Um, we did a... I saw so I went to school for, um, game art and design. What's in her mouth? Um, and I did a lot of, like, storyboarding, but I've never done, like, a full-blown comic. What's in her mouth? Oh, this is the lava thing. I don't think we need to be here. I think this was exclusively for unlocking Gobi Desert. And then it'll come in handy later when we turn to the pumpkin. Well, let me take a look here. So, you guys, we're gonna start off with a great level next. Um, so in the room with Gratilda's head, up on the big slope, enter the... Okay, so we're, we gotta go on her hat. He is a comic, does a lot of stand-up on the weekends. <laughs> I'm here all week, friends. I'm here all week. If you think that's funny, just wait until I look in the mirror. Oh. <laughs> but it's, there it is. So I think this is the entrance to M Mad Monster Mansion. And if that's true, friends, we're going to have a very spooky week next week. Graphic design, heck yeah. Heck yeah, Melody. Cool, so there's a mine in here. A sentient... Heat seeking, bear eating mine. And tips for getter? Um, gosh. Practice, 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 and get your hands on it as much software as you can. Like, Photoshop is not cheap, but it's an industry standard for a reason. So if you can get like a trial or like a student version, do it. Um,. What's funny is the stuff I do every day for a living is the stuff I learned when I was 15. I added After Effects to that repertoire. It took me about two weeks to learn After Effects, but like now I use that every day. So the sooner you can start Melody, the better. No, you had to be spooky place via Tuesday via different path. Hold on, I, let me read that. No, you had been to the spooky place. Yes, yes, I had been. I had been to the spooky place, but I have to, like, find its puzzle pieces for me to fill it in before that door opens up, coax. So the fundamentals based on what we're doing, yep. Running anything with character study and admin, yep, yep, yes, yes. No, that's perfect. This might be the way to the clunker, or the, the rusty bucket bay. I have to find the puzzle piece for the monster manor. Well, so there's a piranha in here. Some stuff I can't reach. What good is... Okay, so I can parkour up this. Here it is, Coax. This is what I'm looking for. The monst the Mad Monster Mansion. So now that we've found the puzzle piece for it, we can actually go inside this hut. Never give a don't be your money. <laughs> Is that a mumbo token back there? Hold on, we're going back, friends. I gotta wonder if this is gonna fill with water, because there's something up there that we definitely can't reach. Like, I know this is already filled with water. Actually, what's at the bottom? Eggs. Uggs. Uggs. Oh, 
Which is funny, a lot of the tattoo artists I go to, they just use whatever on their iPad or uh, Procreate. They don't use Adobe, which I don't blame them. Um, Adobe is expensive. But either way, the fundamentals will go far, like Coax was saying. Can I make it to the next one from here? Eco Pokem. Sweet. We got everything we needed here, friends. The million dollar question is can I remember how to get back to the mad monster mansion that we're talking about? We were there yesterday, and we were like breaking fences and. Maggie, welcome to the stream, friend. How are you? Oh, there's another tube here. That's not where I came from, was it? Let me get some air and then I'll explore. We didn't come this way, did we? Maybe we did. We did. Happy birthday, Alex. Today's not Alex's birthday. Whoa, this guy is pissed. The Monster Smash IPA. That's a solid, uh, solid call there, Lone Wolf. Ooh. Star Lord, man. Okay, so we can go there to go, go there to go down. Maybe we do want to go up. Oh, it is Larry. <laughs> Nope, that's where we just came from. Yes, Sarge. Say it's Sarge's birthday. She confused you with another beautiful SOB. If I jump across here... That's the tunnel that we flew to get the Jiggy piece. I really don't remember where the entrance to the mansion was. Can't keep our studs in mind. Hey, it happens to the best of us, Meg. It happens to the best of us. Well, let me go down a level. Unless it really is through the lava, which I really hope isn't true. The Sandra childhood. <laughs> so there's Gobi Desert. That's where the shoes are. I don't remember what's in here. Oh, just a witch switch. Maybe it is through the lava. Yeah, I don't think it's down. Let's try the lava one more time. I know there's that one little bit. Actually, it would make sense, because there's that uh, secret Easter egg, probably where Cheeto is, where you gotta be a pumpkin and go through the hole this big. A devil taco! Long time no see, buddy! How are you? I don't tackle it's so funny you say that because like this um this was the first game I ever 100 percented as a kid. So like I'm not I it wasn't my intention to 100 percent it again as an adult, but um You get like rewarded for doing it. Like you get double feathers, you get double eggs, you get you just get hooked up. So I mean it makes sense that the spooky levels in her mouth, right? No, but it makes sense that the entrance to the mansion is through here because you can't go far after Mumbo is transformed you can't go far from like that world so I feel like if we need to be in this room as a pumpkin we've got to be close in fact I think this is it hey hey <laughs> this is it friends this is exactly where we want to be the spookiest of levels. I can't wait. This is where we're gonna pick up Monday, friends. Where I've got we're gonna have a very spooky weekend. Or a very spooky week next week. I'm hyped. So, but unfortunately, friends, stay spooky is right, Coax. This is where we're gonna have to put a pin in it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and quit. 
What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the outro screen, find someone to raid together, and we'll turn our party into their party. Don't go anywhere, friends. Yes, yes, Devil Taco gets it. Devil Taco gets it. But yeah, we're gonna go find someone to raid together, we'll turn our party into their party, and uh, make their day. Don't go anywhere, friends. We are back. The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short, or fat or thin, or ugly, or handsome, like your father. <laughs> or you can be black or yellow or white, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character. All right, King, this would be a no-brainer. Um, since we're picking up next week with a spooky level, the spookiest of levels, we're gonna go ahead and drop a raid on our friend, Ms. Spooky, who's currently doing a little bit of Ultimate Chicken Horse, which is just an absolute chaos of a game. But we're gonna go ahead and start the raid over on their channel. Uh, I copied too much of that URL. Give me just a second. There we go. So the raid has started. I'm also gonna make sure that Pumpkin Jack puts some info in our broadcast here. Press the copy and paste over into Miss Spooky's broadcast once we get there. I still have too much. Yep. Uh, still have too much of that URL. Yeah, friends, that is going to be it here for me this evening. Not just for our Thriller Thursday broadcast, but for this entire week. So we'll be back next Monday. Picking up right where we left off here in Banjo Kazooie. And uh, starting with one of the best levels in this game and maybe of all time. Hot take. But that's what the plan is here, friends. Uh, as always, there has never been anyone like you. There is no one like you, and there'll never be anyone like you. Love yourselves, love each other, I love you. Have yourselves a good evening. Stay spooky. And if you excuse me, I gotta get back to my coffin. See you all next time. Good night. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing. Hold on. There it goes. Bye!